ATF, shame on all these eight federal marshals, all of you. If you don't take matters into your own hands and get, you know, go talk to local grand juries, whatever, you've got influence, have locals indict these people. Because when you start saying it's time to kill cops, it's time to go out and shoot people because they're white, that's not free speech. That's a call to action. Just like if the Ku Klux Klan says it's time to go lynch black people and burn up their churches, that's a call for violent sedition against people's peace and freedom. And it is calling for organized murder. It is attempted capital murder. I'm no prosecutor, but I've studied the law, and I guarantee you, some white guy calls for white people to go kill people and it starts happening. When those people get indicted for it, you get indicted as an accomplice. Does the, does the head don in a mafia organization go out and kill people? No, his soldiers and muscle do. But he'll get the death penalty when they get the death penalty if he gets caught. Because he gave the order. And it makes me sick to watch the George Soros-run criminal operation try to take over alternative media, try to destroy the libertarian movement, try to go after patriots, and then try to put out a narrative that we want to kill cops, but they can't ever show a single clip of us saying it. That helped me wake up to this thing. Is What is this obsession with killing cops? They want to kill cops, and they say we want to kill cops. And then I realized, oh my gosh, they're going to false flag us like 95. The good news is... They're bad apples. They're bad training. It's globalist culture. There's some really bad departments. But overall, stacking the police up against the public, the police are more awake than the public probably five times. I mean, the average cop I talk to, whether it's L.A. or Austin or New York, is like, absolutely, we know Oklahoma City's an inside job. Absolutely, we know the government's funding al-Qaeda. Absolutely, we know the government ships in the drugs. Absolutely, we know there's a plan purge the veterans and police down the road. Absolutely, we're pro-gun. Look at national polls. 98% of cops in national polls are pro-gun. If George Soros wants us to have a war with the police, what does that tell you? And if they take these examples of bad cops and create the perception that the police are out killing everybody, just like people have a perception that gun crime's way up, it's down 50-plus percent since 92. Even the liberals admit that in the LA Times and New York Times. Just type it in, we can type it in. Gun crime way down, but public thinks it's up. Same thing. Now, cop shooting the public is pretty much flat since about 2000. It was up in the 80s because of the whole crack war, but it's still way too much, and they're horrible cops. They're, and, and these fraternal orders protect bad people in many cases. It's shameful, and you're destroying your own good name and your own profession. And I am the guy that wrote the book on fighting the police state, but not the police. Fighting the twisting and the destruction of peace officers and our local systems of government. There's CNN, gun homicides, violence down sharply in the past 20 years, Justice Department owned numbers. But they admit that here and there, but never in the general. So I wanna to put together a special report where we got Louis Farrakhan calling for violence, we got these Black Lives Matter groups, kill the pigs, give them wings, pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. And then compare that to what would happen if I called for that. But I mean, why would I call for killing black people randomly? Those are human beings. I would feel terrible. I mean, but then there's this mindless attitude like, well, we'll get you and then we're going to, we're going to get you back. It's like when the globalists pushed a culture of black people couldn't kill each other because they were different colors. So it was like, oh, you're wearing blue or you're wearing red. And what is it? 76 to 90 percent, depending on where you are in the country. It's like 90 percent in Chicago, 90 percent or higher in, say, Compton, places in South Central L.A. When you go and you look at those places, it's blacks killing blacks. Here's the crack cocaine. Here's the music telling you it's cool. And then here, you know, this guy's a crip. This guy's a blood. That's how stupid all of this is. And now they want us all to dress up like crips and bloods and just kill each other like a bunch of morons. This is so transparent, so over the top. And I can't believe that our government is that reckless. But our government isn't our government. It's a bunch of offshore globalists who will destabilize the whole world. They'll turn ISIS loose, destroy the whole Middle East and Africa. Order out of chaos, that's their game. But I am calling 
They got probable cause. These people are organizing murder of police and citizens. These people putting out these videos need to be raided today. And I guarantee you, you're going to find the literature and the statements and the plans to kill people. And they need to be indicted right now. And if they've got white supremacist groups running around organizing mass murder, they need to be indicted. But the white supremacists won't even shoot their mouths off like this. But see, they got White House backing to destabilize things. They're not going to crush these radical racist black groups until all hell hits the fan. Oh, they're going to get arrested. They're going to get killed. They're going to get put in prison. But they're going to be used first to start the nationwide riots. How about the police do their job and the grand juries do their job and the feds do their job? And how about, oh, I'm sorry, Eric Holder was a big radical communist black radical himself. Well, how about this new lady stops this? And how about you shut these people down? Oh, I'm sorry, George Soros put Obama in the White House. I'm sorry. These people are doing their jobs, aren't they? But let me talk to the young idiots who are shooting their mouths off. Some of them don't know they're run by the feds. You're the biggest morons on the planet. And you better come out right now and reverse all your murderous planning and all your murderous talk. Or let me tell you something. You're going to end up in federal prison or you're going to end up with the police when they finally unloose their leash are going to kill you dead than a hammer, you stupid idiot. And Louis Farrakhan all crazed up there with a bunch of guys with bow ties? Louis Farrakhan isn't stupid. His buddy Gaddafi got set up and murdered by his precious Obama. What do you think they're going to do to you? You think they're going to let you get away with this? They're going to set you up in the end, Farrakhan. Maybe that's why you live in the Caribbean nine months out of the year. Then flies in real quick to make these statements and gets out real quick like all the other billionaires. What is your problem, Farrakhan? Trying to start a race war in this country. I get the fact you don't like black people with their minimum sentences and people getting killed. But let me tell you something. What you're doing is not going to help black people. Let's hear you talk about abortion. Let's hear you talk about infanticide. Let's hear about all lives matter. Instead of shooting your mouth off. I guess Malcolm X stopped saying all white people are evil. We know what happened to him, huh? How, how long has the Nation of Islam been on the FBI payroll? How long has the Nation of Islam been on that, that Nation of Islam gravy train with the FBI? Because I'll tell you something. I used to read that and hear that, and I didn't believe it. But let me tell you, I've never seen anybody be able to get away with what you said and not get in trouble. But maybe you are just crazy, because you sure seem to love it when I talked about 1776 commencing again if they try to take our guns. But that's because it will commence, not because I want it to commence. I was there warning him that he better back down right now with his red coat garbage, and the globalists better understand that they're not going to have their takeover. It wasn't because I wanted innocent people to get killed. And yeah, I tell you, if the cop that shot that black guy in the back, who they've indicted, doesn't end up getting hard prison time or the death penalty, then I could see it. I wouldn't condone it if somebody went after him, but that would be logical. That would be justice. It's not justice to shoot some innocent cop in the back. Now, I'm done ranting on that subject. I'm going to get to these videos in a moment and finish up on it. But first, Leanne McAdoo, the lovely, the intelligent, uh, one of the anchors of the nightly news, is here with us. And the sh shirt is a little big on her. It's a medium. I should have got her a small. I wasn't thinking when I said, here, have McAdoo model this for us. I appreciate her doing it. People wanted it. They just came in on the truck. We have a limited supply, but we can get more in a few weeks. Hillary for prison 2016. I think we have the best design out there of many. And on the back, there's two variants. One says Infowars.com, and the other says Legalize Freedom. I mean, you can't see it uh, under her uh, hair, but it's there. And when people say, what do you mean, Hillary for prison? Say, Infowars.com. So I think there's a lot of kind of underground made ones that I think look fine. Ours really looks like a real campaign shirt. I'm proud of it. And your purchase of it helps fund this operation, the true tip of the spear for true human empowerment and enlightenment. Infowarsstore.com, Hillary for prison, 2016. I wanted to make this shirt for months. I finally cracked the whip. And we got this designed, and it uh, got printed up right here in America uh, just the last few days, and the trucks just pulled in. We got a second order in that'll be in in about two weeks, but I think this limited quick run, because I said just ship me whatever you can get in. We kind of we don't use a mom and pop, but it's not a huge place. And they got this into us really, really quick. It's available, nineteen ninety five, and it will certainly turn heads. And look, people can say they're all crooks. They are a lot of them crooks. But Hillary's one of the chief ones. 
She's one of the most convicted in public opinion. She's one of the most known crooks. They're pulling down Hillary for prison signs all over the country. They're trying to stop the sale of them online. They're scared of this. So please get your limited edition. I'm only going to sell it for the next three, four months or so. We're only going to sell the Hillary for prison shirt uh, till the end of 2015. It is a limited edition shirt. So if you want it, get it today. Hillary for prison. Infowarsstore.com or 888-253-3139. Uh, Leanne McAdoo, um, do you have any breakdown or view on the escalating open call to murder police and white people? I mean, is this not getting epic? It really is. I and mean, we called it months ago. I think all of us were behind that, you know, natural spark of revolution that happened fighting against the militarization of the, the police state. But then we saw it quickly shifted into divide and conquer, black versus white, us against the cops. And all that's going to do is create an even bigger police state. So, you know, I think it's pretty obvious what's happening here. We're already seeing, uh, you know, a, a white guy in Texas here now calling to attack the other race. So we predicted it and it's happening and it's Pretty frightening, actually. Well, there'll be some of them are mentally ill on both sides. Yeah. But others are, are federal or foundation operatives, guaranteed. And you guys are saying something in my ear. What were you saying? Oh, absolutely. The Hillary Clinton pin uh, is also in. I called the distributor of this. We just ordered these. A bunch of these are in a truck on their way here. I don't know if it's up for sale yet, but I think it will be. This truck gets here next week, next Monday. Uh, but the T-shirts are here. <laughs> She's laughing because we're dumb. <laughs> Hillary Clinton for President 2016, the T-shirt. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. But look at how they got the Republicans to say we're going to ban embryonic tissue sale. Well, that isn't even a market. Then they ignored uh, fetal, which is up to nine months, and then Planned Parenthood sitting around laughing about it. Right. See how they bait and switch us on every front? Right, and they, they get you all excited about it. this over here, so everyone says, no, ban that embryonic tissue, that's terrible, terrible. And meanwhile, they don't tell you what they're actually using, what's more valuable to them. So it's, I mean, we see that bait and switch with everything. It's time to open your eyes. Absolutely, this is sick. You know, I didn't know some idiot white guys calling for more violence. I want to see that after the break, but let's find that. Joe Biggs has been waiting in the wings. He's got a live feed from Fox Lake, Illinois right now. We'll be talking to him briefly in the next hour before Dr. Group joins us for the last half of the transmission from about 1220 to 2 o'clock today, Central, uh, covering what's even bigger than GMOs, what's an even bigger threat on so many fronts. But right now, let's go to this live feed with Joe Biggs right in front of the podium uh, with the uh, press conference. And we might want to go with... Uh, his video, but with mainstream media's audio, uh, because that might be a little bit better. We can mix those two signals. But let's go ahead and go to Joe Biggs' feed from where the police officer was executed and where the manhunt is ongoing. Uh, let's go ahead and go to that feed. The autopsy was performed yesterday at the Lake County Coroner's Office at approximately 7 p.m. It included about 9.30 p.m. last night. We got some police results from that. I'm not going to be revealing the data, of course, because it is crucial. And again, we're looking at mainstream TV where the, they're not really caring, and I guess only local news stations are. What's your comment on, in light of the fact that it's been reported that the, one or two of these individuals had some physical contact with the body of Lieutenant uh, Genovich, my question is, did you, were you able to get any fingerprints or any uh, DNA uh, from that uh, crime scene? I'm not sure where you obtained that information, but I can tell you that our evidence technicians did process the crime scene. Everything collected at that crime scene has now been turned over to the Northern Illinois Crime Lab. They're currently expediting processing any type of evidence, whether it be fingerprint evidence, DNA transfer, uh, and we probably won't have those results for at least a day or so. Can you say whether or not there was a, did the officer fire his gun and what and can you say what made them suspicious? Why did he stop them? In the, why did he want to stop them in the building? So again, I can't reveal that information related to the firing of any weapon. Uh, as far as 
took the first place. Obviously, I can't speak for the officer. Um, whatever the case was, there's only 